and Outside the Box Reviews, we are doing a follow-up video on the Sideshow Part 3 Jason figure. Now, at the end of that video, I had mentioned that I want to do some modifications to my figure to make it better. And I've done some of those, but the real thing we're going to be looking at here today is the new head sculpt I got to replace the original Sideshow one. This is made by Kane Productions. It is a limited custom head sculpt. I'm not sure how many were done total, but I believe only 15 painted sets were produced, and mine is one of those. But this is designed overall to look better and be of higher quality than what Sideshow originally gave us. And, as you can see here, to have a removable mask, which Sideshow for some dumb reason didn't give us. I'll also point out another little modification I made to my figure, but the head really is the main focus of this video. So with the head sculpt, we got a certificate of authenticity, which I always like getting with my figures. Very cool. Signed here, Alexander Ray, Kane Productions. So I have number three of 15. I believe the number's just out of the painted sets. And there's some cool blood splatter effects across the COA. So this is actually really cool. I like the COA a lot. And then not really part of the figure itself, but I figured I'd show it off since he included it. We have his business card with KanePro.com. But basically all of his contact or social media locations. It's some really cool pictures of some other sculpts. I believe his haunted mask sculpt is what was used by Trick or Treat Studios for their new mask. So if you're looking for something a little more mainstream of his work, that's something you could check out. And the hockey mask itself is so cool looking. It has that nice kind of eggshell-ish color. Maybe a little more yellow than eggshell, but it just has a very, very nice color to it. A great gloss going across the whole mask. The bright red chevrons on it. The shape is definitely a little more accurate than what Sideshow gave us. The edges kind of flare out a little more like they did in that movie. The kind of rivets down here at the bottom that are kind of painted over. The strap isn't like elastic or anything. It's actually very similar to what Sideshow used but it feels good and this one isn't twisted like my stupid sideshow one and then we have the little adjuster there at the top and it loops over the back strap there nothing going on the inside but you wouldn't really expect there to be and then if we really zoom in you could see there's actually all the little kind of lines and things that were on this mask all the scuff marks kind of a cool cracked texture throughout it i mean this is super zoomed in and there's still like some really nice detail to this mask i absolutely love how this thing came out it just looks phenomenal and the head sculpt itself does not disappoint this looks fantastic the skin tone's pretty damn close to side joe's figure there's a lot of great texture in the skin there's a lot of like little pores and things you can see in there all kinds of different lumps and bumps all over his head then you have this big vein kind of going up through here really nicely painted he's the one kind of butthole ear over here and a more normal ear on the other side then on the face we have his really nasty yellow teeth sticking out the gums are well painted also a nice gloss over the teeth to make them look wet and then its eyes look phenomenal i mean look at the detail in those little eyes they look so lifelike for being on an action figure i absolutely love the detail on this piece it is so cool looking and on the inside here you can see it is very hollow this is meant to go over that weird large neck peg that we got with the sideshow piece so no real modification to that is needed and it actually is designed to sit a little bit lower because there was a gap previously between the base of the head and the neck of the figure and now that's gone with this head sculpt and for a comparison here's the Kane Productions head there on the left and the sideshow there on the right you can see I did pry the mask off. This is the face that we weren't really supposed to see. They never sculpted teeth in it, and you kind of have the peg from the mask stuck in the middle of his forehead. I have seen people actually mod this figure and clean up the peg in the forehead, clean up the mask itself, add some teeth, because there's kind of like a plate behind the face you could pop out and sculpt those things in. So it is modifiable, but I'm so happy I went with the full new head because I really just feel like it's a huge upgrade. And there's the view on the right side of the head the back one thing you could also see is the cane sculpt doesn't have the indentations for the hockey mask straps so they just sit more naturally as opposed to actually being stuck into the sculpt like sideshow gave us and you could also see the little bit of glue there in the back for sideshow where the strap was glued in place and last but not least there's the left side and here's a comparison with the mask on and you could see once again a huge difference the cane mask is larger it's more oval shaped than the kind of egg shape that we have with the sideshow the colors much 
lighter. It's actually coming off very white here in this shot through the viewfinder as opposed to that almond color we have with the sideshow mask. And one thing I don't know if it's picking up well is the gloss levels on the cane sculpt is much higher and just gives it much more of a hockey mask look. The sideshow figure I still think is okay, but this definitely steps it up a major notch. One thing I will say is you do have to be careful in handling it like you would with any custom, just because the mask doesn't really snap into the face or anything so you have to just very gently move it around to position and put the straps over the back of the head and just be careful not to scratch the paint or anything. And now for the ceremonial changing of the head sculpt, I guess. Obviously it's easy enough, you just pop the head off the sideshow version. As I mentioned this barrel connector stays in place and the cane sculpt just very easily slides over. And you can see it's right there on the neck. There's no gap anymore. I think it looks a hell of a lot better just in fit alone, not to mention the sculpt and paint that I've already talked about. The other thing I do want to mention with this figure is I did add a little padding, just a small piece of foam here on his back, and I glued the collar down. I believe I mentioned that originally. So the collar doesn't stick up like it used to. It's kind of flush with the back of his shirt. And then just a little more padding because there is a sculpted piece here on Sideshow's figure, but it wasn't bulky enough for what I felt part three should look like. And I think that really helped. It gave him the broader shoulder look. And having that extra bulkiness also kind of helps pull the sleeves up a little more. In the movie, you can kind of see his wrists and forearms very easily because of the way his back kind of pulled the shirt up. So it emulates that just a little bit better, I think, than it was before. So that's my revisit for this Sideshow Jason. I am so happy I went with this new head. High recommend. I don't even know if you could even get one now if you wanted it, but definitely something I am super happy I did to improve this figure. There's still some little things here and there I may decide to tweak eventually. I might change up or dye the shirt. And I kind of would like to get some weapons that are actual real wood and metal just to kind of amp up the realism a little more. But in terms of the changes I set out to do with this guy, they were well worth it. I'll put a link in the description down below. If you haven't seen the original review I did on the stock sideshow figure, you could check that out. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, username Outside the Box Reviews, where I took way too many pictures of this figure and posted them. Also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, this has been our Outside the Box Reviews. Stay tuned for more to come.